And speaking about AEW, this past week, well, just a week ago, it was, of course, the first ever National Hook Day. Man, how this kid, because he is just a kid, and as far as I know, he is Taz's son, as far as I know, as far as I've understood. Man, has this kid really, really accumulated a court following amongst wrestling fans. Because last week at Rampage, hardcore wrestling fans just couldn't wait for his debut. And he faced off against Fuego de Oso, Fuego del Sol. It's kind of hard. I can say it in Spanish uh, when I'm in, in this American accent, English accent. American accent. It's uh, a lot easier to butcher it. But uh, Fuego del Sol. And he beat Fuego del Sol. That's a better way of saying it. He showed... Quite a few veteran-like instincts, but he is quite green. And they didn't put him up against a, a, a bigger name opponent, because again, Hook needed his debut to be a win. And Fuego del Sol can take it. He can take it. Come on. It's Fuego del Sol. He's a great fan favorite, but he is a losing fan favorite so far. That's the way he's been booked. But everything... From Hook, from his entrance, from the look, from the way he handled himself in that ring. It didn't seem like like he got tired or he got exhausted. It seemed like he just got in there, he got in there to kick some ass. Fuego del Sol put up a, a, a bit of a fight, but it, but it never seemed like Hook was in any danger of losing the match. It didn't seem like Hook was worried at all. And he proved it. Like two, three, four minutes into the match, he just made him tap out. No problem. And it's good. It's a great way to introduce Hook in that wrestling ring to the major, to the mainstream wrestling audience. But what's going to happen when you put him up against guys and teams who have been out there for years and years and years? And again, I love the kid. I, I was a big fan of how he was presented to us at Rampage just a week ago. I was. But they've got to take it slowly with this kid. They really got to give us what they're what they're doing right now because up to this point he's been a part of the group, he's been in the background, he's 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 been doing stuff not as much, but he's been doing certain things that remind me of The Rock in The Nation of Domination where he, where you had Farouk or uh, D.O. Brown or, or Mark Henry doing segments, backstage segments, and, and The Rock just managed to get a little bit of attention and, and really give you a memorable moment. I think Hook has been doing that ever since he was introduced to us on AEW TV. But now he's had a match. An official match. He is 1-0. and oh, And because of that, he can't go back to where he was. Now he has to continue to have matches and build up that momentum and get in trouble. And he's going to have to face off against bigger name rivals. And we'll see what the kid is made of. We'll see if fans stick with the kid. But up until now, Hook is... Well, at least he's made a bigger, more impressive debut, first impression actually, than other stars I've seen in the past that I won't name right now. Okay. So with that said, what do you think? What did you think about Hook's debut? Did they, did you enjoy it? Did you revel in it? Did you just worship at the feet of this kid ever since he walked out into that ring on Rampage? Will you do that again if he does it tonight? Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions below.